hello, hello. So um, I filmed yesterday. It was terrible. It's, it's been a long time, obviously, as you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the happy mail part of that video here. I'm here to do um, a, a bit of a just a craft with me, really. I'm not doing anything groundbreaking. Um, I do have two little pieces of happy mail that I really want to share with you guys, but I'm going to keep it short, not because I don't want to share the happy mail, but because I want to just um, kind of before I lose my nerve, just film um, because it has been a long time. So the first happy mail I just want to share with you is, oh, I've just dropped one on the floor, um, is from oh, Carol, Carol Hall. She made this beautiful basket. There's there's two others I, I will show you um, for my desk. And this is sitting on my desk, but I wanted to share this so I could um, store the, the stuff and then... Um, and then use it because I'm going to keep my diaries in here and things like that on my desk. So I think it's fabulous. Um, thank you, Carol, so much. I do absolutely adore it. The fabric is just perfect. Obviously, it's got little foxes on. It's got little squirrels on, birds, little toadstools, leaves. It's just stunning. Um, there are a whole heap of beautiful, I love these, beautiful napkins. Woo! Um, I haven't gone through everything because I didn't want to take it all out until I was ready to show. And these are, they just feel, <laughs> they feel lovely. Um, I've got more little bags. I mean, this, honestly, this is like a TARDIS because there's so many things in here. This one I didn't see either. <laughs> That's Luna. Luna the cat. Um, these are fabulous little wooden pieces and this is I think the same as the one I have at the oh and there's something else in here oh oh look at those cute little fox earrings oh Carol thank you I'm going to stand those up there for now so I don't lose those um, I did have a little look in here I'm afraid <laughs> so a beautiful brooch look at that love it I think I'm just going to cut the top off this bag so I can see. And I'm going to use this fabulous little basket. <gasps> oh, my days. Look at those. Oh, these are absolutely beautiful. If you can see, they're like glass. And they have oh, little gnomes. Oh, they are so cute. Carol. Thank you. I'm going to leave those in there like that. And this is the other little basket. Look at that. Carol, thank you again so much. I just absolutely love it. I, will... I got this. I got this from the fabulous Nat Williams. Now, Nat has done a flip through of this on her channel. So I will link that down below. Um, but this was the biggest shocker for me. Opening some happy mail and then seeing a picture of yourself. So I did have a bit of a giggle with that and but this is an absolute work of art. Um and I will like I said I will link it down below so you can you can see the flip through of this. So thank you. I absolutely love it. It is brilliant. Thank you Nat and thank you Carol. Um, I did film a tag. It was this one. Um, I'm not going to, um, what I'm going to do is just explain what I've done. So basically I've mounted all of my tags onto Amazon packaging and I've sit sti I stitched around and then I used the trusty old cardboard to raise bits up. And on this one, it was very simple. I've used a little number which came from Kerry at which craft do you do? Uh, there's no point in me showing you this particular one, but to finish off what I want to make, um, I'm going to put this one together to just give you an idea of what I have been doing. So these are obviously all tags from the um, Gothic in the Belfry kit, the ephemera kit. And I've literally, like I said, put everything onto Amazon packaging and I've cut some cardboard pieces to use as risers. But what I want to do on this one 
is just put in some actual real brads. So I'm going to put a hole in the middle of the image of the brads like that. This is what I did on one of the other um, the other tags. I'll show you all of the ones I've done shortly. I'm just trying to keep this quick, short. Oh, pants. Poke these through. Actually, I might need to make these holes a little bit bigger first of all. Yes, yesterday, um, you know, had all these good intentions to film, but it did, didn't go well. By the time I'd started to make the tag, I'd got myself, you know, it's like, um, it yes, it didn't go well. So, um, let's let's try again today. Let's try again today. So, okay, that's one in. So I'm going to put these all in. And I have to bend, you have to bend them to a little bit of an angle um, if it's close to the edge. But I'll show you like so. That's what I've been, that's how I kind of get around that. Just bend them at a bit of an angle. They do work quite well. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just in the corners. It's a little bit tricky. This one's a little bit closer to the edge than the one I did yesterday. Um, but it should still should still work. So take your little piece of tape and just put that down over your back of your brad. And it doesn't need to be perfect because you're not going to see it. It just needs to make, you know, just to keep those down and out of the way, really. And any tape that shows, we can trim that off at the end. So I, um, I think I explained this probably two or three times in yesterday's video, which is why you know, it was very repetitive. I kept saying the same thing over and over again. I'm being really careful to try and not do that again today. Um, but basically, um, this, is, this is not a tutorial at all. This is just a craft with me. I'm going to make a little tag book. And it's quite simple because I'm um, using kit only. So if you're not a kit only kind of person, this video is definitely not for you. And I'm going to just add this here. I've done a little bit of stitching and added a little bit of cheesecloth to the back there. Um, and the reason I want to get this bit done fairly quickly is because I do want to get on and do the project or put these together how I actually wanted to put them together. So they... And we're going to put that in the centre. What I've been doing is I've just been using a little piece of cardboard or something just to hold that down because yesterday I managed to get glue on everything. Glue this piece of cardboard. This is what I've already cut to size just to use as a riser in the middle there. And again, I'm going to flip that over and just hold that down. Um, so these are quite dimensional, these tags that I'm doing, but I really, I really like, um, I really like dimension. I really like the way um, things feel when they're larger. And obviously they're probably not suitable to go inside a journal. You could certainly put them on the front of a journal as a topper. Um, they would be, you know, fabulous for happy mail or gift tags, or even to put onto a greetings card of some sort. They're a little bit dimensional, probably, for the inside of a journal. Probably should have put this one, the smaller tag, on top of the bigger tag first, but oh well. Put that down. Just give that, again, I'm going to use my card, and then we're going to put this on top of here. So I'm just doing lots of layering. You could use the exact same layering technique without putting the cardboard in as a risers as a riser you don't need to make it as dimensional as i am here and put that down okay and then again um i haven't actually inked this piece let's just give that a little ink and this says um spirits of the dead and again i've put a little piece of cardboard on the back there as a riser. and we're going to put that down and that is very quick, very easy. You know, like I said, this is nothing groundbreaking. It's all um, just simple. You don't even have to have the sewing. Right, so that one is now done. 
and I'll show you. This was the one that I actually made in the video yesterday. Like I said, oh, I think I've already shown you. See, there we go. Um, memory like a chocolate teapot. So I also have this one. And again, lots of dimension on that. Have this one this one is um again dimensional so that's that one this one is extremely dimensional which probably was a little bit of a mistake um as you can see <laughs> i probably should have put the raven directly onto the piece of card and this is the other one now you can tell the difference in the weight of these you know how much layering you've actually put on them so what I have is I've cut myself three strips of just um, thin cotton. You know, it's it's just a thin cotton. Any kind of fabric will do. I'm hoping this is thick enough to do what I'm after. Um, now, I've got six of these. What I need to do is make sure I've got these even. So there's going to be two sides to this. I've got um, two portraits there and a portrait here i don't want those together um let's try something like something like that as a layout now i'm thinking this one will probably end up being a kind of front cover so let's swap those over because it would open well, I don't suppose it really matters, does it, which way it opens. But I'm thinking that. So, and I'm going to start with these. So this is going to be my first piece. This is the one I want at the front. So this is the piece that I need to glue. So I'm going to turn that over, grab my glue, and I'm going to put a bead of glue down here. So these are dimensional tags, and it's going to be a very, very simple way of making a little tag book so that's piece number one now because this is going on the front um, what I need to do is pick the tag that's going to go behind it let's turn this over let me just cut there and trim up to that there we go all right turn this over now i'm going to glue the back and add the back tag i want to make sure i've got plenty of glue on there make sure that fabric is glued then i'm going to take this tag i'm going to line it up line it up Grab my quarry clips and I'm going to clamp this. Okay. So that is the first one. I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry and then I'll come back and do the next tag. Okay, I think that one is dry. So this is going to be my second tag. But what I need to do is I need to put the one on the back first. Um, and I'm going to do that by placing this tag on top of this one. And none of these clips are interfering. So don't worry about the clips. None of those are interfering. It's the tag width that I'm concerned about. So to do this, what I'm going to do is glue the back of this tag to make sure I've got enough fabric so this closes. And then I'm going to bring this over like that. And then I'm just going to go and just make sure that whole piece of fabric is glued. Because we have to rely on this to hold our book together. And quite often these things are not going to be completely straight. But you know what? That's, that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to take the clips off this one now. And we can now work on this side again. So I'm gonna do exactly the same. Ah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do the same thing again. So that one will close like so, okay? Right, 
So I'm going to turn this over and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my last piece of fabric or my next piece of fabric. I'm going to add that to this side. We don't know yet how much space we need, but it's fine because we haven't got the next tag on. So I'm going to glue here. I hope this is making at least some sense. And then we're going to put this next piece of fabric for the next hinge down. And once that's down, we can glue this panel. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab my Fabri-Tac because it is soaking into that fabric pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm now just going to line this up at the top and the bottom and do some Chlory clamping. Chlory, Cory, do some Cory clamping around the edge. I'm actually going to see you see right that's that just going to pop the lid on that for a minute okay now obviously this section I'm going to need to try and hold and pinch that together make sure that's going to stick right now again I'm going to give that a few seconds and then I'll come back Right, so we now know that's going to close, that's going to close, and we now need, that's going to go that way, so this one is going to fold that way. So it's the back tag, again, I need to worry about. So I'm going to put this tag face down onto that tag, line them up as best I can. Grab my fabric tag. Okay, so just one more check to make sure that's lined up. Pull this over, make sure I've got enough closure room there. Turn that back over here. And now we're going to get this last tag on. So, again, round the whole tag with my fabric tag. tag line those up clips gone a bit bit askew there with the glue a little bit more than I should have done okay so I think these have been on here long enough let's take them off and we have something that looks a bit like that it's very chunky okay so this one will fold that way and then that one can fold that way so that is my little project using that's my little Halloween project I don't know if I'm even going to get any more done this year I've got loads of things that I want to do lots of hope that I can actually deliver because I know a lot of you get frustrated with me when I say I'm going to do a video and I don't um, so I'm not going to say that anymore um, I do have lots of things that I'd like to do and I hope they will be filmed. If not, I will certainly share photographs of what I do. So as you can see, we've got plenty of room by using fabric. It's quite forgiving and it allows the book to kind of close up even though we've got lots and lots of bits and pieces in there. So thanks for watching. Thanks again to Carol and to Nat for the marvellous happy mail. Um, I will link the video to Nat's um creation in the description box i will also link kerry's shop um for her little numbers um and i will link the kit thanks i will see you already soon bye so now we can actually stand that as a display piece no we can't we can't it just falls over <laughs>